In the 1970s, the journey was not a short one. Yet people boarded these flights eager to migrate. In the early days, travelers would always find themselves having to switch airlines somewhere along the way, usually in Europe. But the increase in air travel between these two destinations pushed PIA to start flying to Canada. Eventually, PIA even started direct flights to Toronto from the three major Pakistani cities of Islamabad, Lahore, and Karachi. Ikra Khalid is a member of parliament who was elected to represent the riding of Mississauga Aaron Mills in 2015. The idea was to, to become a journalist. So I, I went into professional writing and, and criminology. Those were my two majors. Salma Atahulijan was elected to the Senate in 2010 after having come to Canada as a young bride in 1980. As the first Pakistani-Canadian Pashtun senator, she stands for the ethnic diversity of all Canadians. The Pakistani community and many individuals within the community have truly made an incredible contribution, not only to Markham, but I have to say right across the greater Toronto area. Salma Zahid is one of the best examples of people whose success proves the equal and fair opportunities that Canada can provide. This land is your land, this land is my land, from Mona Vista to the Vancouver Island, from the Arctic Circle to the Great Lake Waters, this land was made for you and me. So my great thanks and appreciation for providing employment to our newest Canadians. Kam Siddiqui is another individual from the Pakistani community who has integrated into the mainstream fabric of Canada and has found success here. He was one of the pioneers of the V-chip technology in the late 1990s. Um, in recent years, uh, I was very much involved with the uh, Canada-Pakistan uh, Business Council, particularly in recent years under the leadership of Samir Dosal. Uh, the Canada-Pakistan Business Council has become really a great institution. We have a whole slew of cultures. In a typical meeting we could have five or seven different kind of uh, nationalities or cultural backgrounds in the boardroom and it's truly the mosaic of Canada. My father was very politically involved. I can remember going to conventions which elected uh, John Turner and Jean Chrétien and Paul Martin and Michael Ignatiev. The group you uh, put together at your home with the Council General from Pakistan and some of the things that it's really starting to uh, move in Durham region. My main focus was to do something where I can add some value to this society. When I look back, I feel that anyone who was with me in this journey and has put in his heart has succeeded. Samir Dosal is a member of the Canadian Pakistani community whose constant goal is to connect people. One of the greatest believers that we are stronger together. He has successfully led the Canada Pakistan Business Council to new heights and continues to leverage his connections to make the community stronger. The opportunity for people like us, who at whatever age, we come here, we've made a mark, We've, we've contributed, we have maintained part of our heritage, we get the freedom of following our culture. The Pakistan I work in, the Pakistan Maureen, my wife and I have discovered, is a very, very different place than what is depicted in the Western media. A machine. Machines that act like humans. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but research coming out of the University of Calgary really is a marriage between the mind and technology. That a brain cells talk to the chip and chip can talk back to the brain cells. Shakir Ramatula is president and founder of Flato Developments. He has found great success and has shown dedication in giving back to the community in and around the greater Toronto area. Our community is the youngest in, in Canada. You would know all of, most of you immigrated about 15, 16 years uh, back. Uh, but in this short time, if you could see the way we have uh, made our uh, presence felt in Canadian society and political system. We 
got great big cities, but a lot of trees and rocks. Yeah, the winter's cold here, wear two pairs of socks. There's half the world's fresh water to paddle your canoe or camp along the shoreline. It's what we like to do in Canada. Ooh, I'm living in Canada. Float my boat in Canada. Samir has been such an advocate for uh, cooperation uh, among different communities. So that kind of impulse, I think, is very much a Canadian value. You know, I think that um, you've probably heard me say that, um, except for our Indigenous people, we all came from somewhere else. And so exactly. as we come together to build this country, we bring our backgrounds with us. With us. And our responsibility as Canadians is to find a way to value our differences, love each other, love each other and exactly. build this country. Exactly. Pakistani Canadians have not only established themselves from coast to coast to coast in every imaginable field and profession, they have become policy makers and political leaders in all levels of government. Together, our nations stand as a testament to the fact that countries can prosper not in spite of their diversity, but precisely because of it.